Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 5. In this video, we're going to be making our experience bar. So let's head over to our RPG UI scene. And I'm going to turn off my action bar for now so that we can put our experience bar at the bottom. I will expand this and turn off the parent as well as its children with Alt Shift A. And let's create an image in the canvas, the RPG UI. We'll right click and do UI image. Click on this rec transform, alt shift, left click to snap it to the bottom. And let's use this experience bar I drew up. We'll also want to change the import texture to sprite. And let's drop the background on top in the source image and then let's make it a bit bigger here. It looks pretty squished down there. 948 by... let's do 30. That looks fine. And let's rename this to Experience Bar and I'll copy paste that, make it a child, and this one can be the fill. And let's drop the fill image on there and I'll give it a color of 203 255, 154. And then let's go ahead and put on a shadow and highlight because why not? So a shadow and a highlight. Let's get this color back to white and I'll drop on the shadow texture or image or sprite. And then I'll give it the material. And I'll do the same for the highlight. There we go. And let's also grab the fill and change the image type to filled and horizontal. Um, unfortunately, we have a problem here, and that is we can't do current experience divided by maximum experience. We can't just do a simple division problem to set the fill. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is uh, experience doesn't have a consumable value. It's always at its maximum amount. Your experience is just a value. So we can't use um, our division there. And then the second problem is, if I click on my curve here, we'll see that when I get to level two by gaining 20 experience, my experience doesn't drop down to zero. I'm still at 20 of 328. And when I get to level three, I'm still at 328 of 1663. So that's going to add a little bit more math. And I wrote it up here in this little document. Let's say level one required 1,000, level two requires 2,000, and we're currently at 1352. So to get back to our simple division problem like we did for the health fill, we're going to actually have to do this right here. So we'll do our experience, our value experience, that's the attribute, minus our current level XP requirement, that's how much experience it took to get to our current level, 1000 in this case, divided by our current level XP requirement plus one, that's our next level XP requirement, 2,000 in this case, minus current level XP requirement again, and that was 1,000. So 352 divided by 1,000, in this case would be 35% full experience bar. And we'll accomplish that by doing an A divided by B, and then dropping an A minus B on each side. So let's do that now. I'll grab the parent game object, and give it a ply blocks component and we'll do a common on late update and then of course as always we'll do a if character player is ready and I'd also like to set some temporary variables to make our ply blocks a bit easier to work with um, and I'm gonna put those in a collapsible comment block just in case we want to shrink them down. So I'll go to common, grab a 
bracketed comment block. And let's make some temporary variables. So we'll go to variables, set temp value, and I want three of these. The top one will be experience, XP, and that is our character, get attribute, value, experience, from the player. Then I think we said the current level XP requirement that was level 2 XP, but it's not level 0, it's get level from player. I'll copy and paste this down. And then this one was next level XP requirement. And that one's going to be just like up top, but it's not get level of player. It's get level of player plus one. And notice this get level block returns an integer down here in the description. So we'll want to go to math and grab an integer a plus b. And that will be get level from player plus a common integer of one. Now that we've set up our temporary variables, we can do the math to set the fill amount. So we'll grab a common set property on the fill, and that was a image fill amount. And then this was an A divided by B with A minus B's on each side. So that's math float A divided by B float A minus B on each side. And then this was we can go to variables to grab our temp variables here in the light yellow block. We'll do XP minus, and I'll copy the text from up here, current level XP requirement divided by next level XP requirement minus current level XP requirement and that's it we're done I'd also like to add some text game objects so let's go ahead and let's add some UI text and I'll change the color to white and then text can get a bit blurry on our interface so I'm going to change the scale to actually smaller than 1. Let's do 0.75 on the X and Y. Pump up the font size, and then you'll see that it disappears. So we're going to set the vertical overflow to overflow. So let's say, let's make it a little bit bigger even. And this one can say level, and then our player's level. I'll name this text game object level text. I'm going to copy and paste it, and this one's going to be X percent. So this one's going to show us what percentage of a level up we are. Let's name that percent text. And then I'm going to do one more even. And this one, I'll snap to the left side. And this one's going to say how much experience we have towards our level up. There we go. So now let's set those values. I'll do it in the same ply blocks up on the parent game object. And we can use the common set property block dragging in the text game object and then choosing from the drop down set text text or we could even just go to the GUI category of ply blocks and use the set text block let me rename this to 
exp text. So let's set the text of the level. That's the, the top center. And we want two words. The first word will be level, and the second word will be what level we are. So we'll go to common and use a string A plus B. The first string being the word level. And the second string being our character get level. Now the get level block returns an integer, but this spot is for a string. So we'll go to common and grab a as string block, and that will turn our integer into a string. So we'll go back to character, get level block, as string, and we want the level from the player. So now, our level text will say level, level from player. That's easy. Let's do another one. So GUI, set text, and this one's going to be our percentage down in the middle of our experience bar. So let's grab our percent text game object, and we're going to set the text to a percentage. So if we go to common, there's actually a format block, which I don't use too often, but we can use it now, and that will turn our float, which is going to have, uh, it's going to be a big decimal. So our current experience um, divided by how much we need to level up, that's going to be like 7.1253929, and that's not going to look very good on our experience bar. So what we're going to do is we want to round it two decimal places. So the format block, I can drop right in there. And this uses, um, it's like a C-sharp two-string. There's a bunch of different formulas you can use. We're just going to type in P0, and that'll give us a percent um, with zero decimal places. And that'll work just fine. And then where it says using, we're just going to copy this big formula we did up top. I'm going to copy that and paste it right in. And that'll give us our percentage in the center of our experience bar. Too easy. Let's do one last one. Set text. And we'll drag our exp text game object in. And this time we're going to do three words. We're going to do our experience and then a slash and then how much uh, we need to level up. So if we go to common we don't have a string A plus B plus C but we can use two string A plus B's so I'll drag this one in and then I'll just copy and paste it and now we have room for three words. So the first word will simply be our characters get attribute experience. Once again, that's a float, so we need to turn the float into a string, so that's a common as string, and then we'll character get attribute. We can actually just use the XP. I've already defined it up top, get attribute. So XP, which is a float, as a string, this will be our slash or out of and then the last word is how much experience we need so let's go grab that as string to turn the float into a word and then we'll grab next level XP requirement we've already defined that up top so that should be it I'll expand if you want to take a look at this um, so we defined these three temporary variables. We're setting the fill amount on our experience bar, and then we're setting our level, percent, and experience text game objects. Let's go ahead and save this, and then move over to level one. And I'd like to add some debug logic 
to uh, if we hit a key on our keyboard, we can give ourselves some experience uh, to test it out. So let's say flow if input key goes down. Let's say if Q goes down, we'll do a character change attribute value experience of player, and let's give ourselves 25 experience. Let's hit play and hope for the best. So there we have our level is accurately reading our experience percentage as well as how much experience we need total. Very nice. That's about all for this one. Thank you so much for watching and if you learned something hit that like button. Join me next time where we will be making a health potion.